Okay, secondary ICT personalized learning. What does ICT mean? The Information and Communications Technology Method has recently been established at different schools and different universities around the world. Much investigation has taken place in recent years to gain a sound understanding of the educational factors influencing ICT students. Research has shown that students receive an appropriate direction in the initial years through innovative teaching, enhanced learning and focused supports, greatly improve their confidence and ability to perform. ICT is a group of teachers and advisors from different programs. These teachers join together to discuss the experiences of using ICT to deliver personalized learning. Since this method is used in every different subject and in many different schools, stages of development at the initial times to suggest that this is an invaluable resource providing significant improvement of the learning experience of ICT learning. The center has aims to ensure a more effective self-directed learning approach and raise the standard and progression of the ICT related subjects. ICT is mainly focused on advice people. In this case, students in every different subject use technology to improve their learning. Learning may take place at 24 hour school by using personal digital assistance. By this, we can have the learner support, the teaching and innovation in the research and evaluation. By the learner support, we have peer support, intensive support workshops, group one-to-one -one sessions, summary schools, and so on. We have learning evaluation, we have risk diagnosis for sure, we have learning skills development, and for the teaching and innovation, we have attract, engage, and retain students. We have to develop an infrastructure of core essential skills. We have to develop platforms through inter-institutional collaboration, we have to have problem-based learning, and we have to develop a toolbox of indefinite techniques. We have to monitor qualitative and quantitative outcomes of initiatives. We have to generate continuous improvement of associated activities. ICT focuses on putting technology on the hands of the students. What does it mean? It means that every student right now is using technology and we have the idea that teachers are not used to, use, uh, to have technology. But it's not true. Most of this use is to support the learning if it is used properly. PDAs, uh, these devices that are supposed to be on fashion right now, are put in the students' hands in order to develop their learning styles. We have to provide to these students technology as they live every day. Every day, students face to new technology devices that they know how to do it and they master the use of this technology. Teachers can monitor and support the students when they feel alone. Every class has its own agenda which can be sent forward. What does it mean? It means that the students can be checking every different job they have to do in order to take advantage of the time. PDAs have great success in math class. We are supposed to have PDAs only to organize the schedule, but it's not, it's not true. PDAs can be used for language, mathematics, chemistry, biology, and every different subject the students have. Using PDAs in class has risk, that's for sure. So if students use PDAs for fun, if they use for chat or so on, so PDAs wouldn't be the great tool we as teachers suggest. Even when technology is a great tool, not every teacher is convinced on the use of it. And as a language teacher, I do to remain. Most of the students tend to use uh, PDA for chatting. They tend to do uh, some gossiping into the class and that's not giving the opportunity to the students to become better learners. The investment of technology use must be justified. That's, what does it mean? It means that the students, they have to work the money they pay for the technology in order to develop their learning styles. This electronics device, I'm talking about the PDAs, works for sure if it is properly used. If it is properly used, technology will be a great tool for learning. And not only for learning, but also for teaching. Teaching and learning is changing a lot. And this time, 
if you have no technology in learning or in teaching, so you are not going to be done in your teaching task. Collaborative learning tag takes place, and learning and teaching become fantastic by using technology.